Hi Libra, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val Libra 3 Tarot and we're just going to jump in and see what's going on here with you today Libra. This is for Libra Sun Moon Rising in the North Node um, and it's not going to resonate with all of you but for more readings after this please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777 and what else here? I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay. All right, Libra. So for some of you here, you're going through a lot of painful, shocking awakenings about yourself in your life because of how hard you work towards building something with someone that you're not with and or towards something that's not really, you know, um, happen. Like it doesn't ever happen. You get close to it and then it doesn't happen. So either or, but that's not for all of you here. Some of you, it could be because of like who you're dealing with or other things going on. This could be about a past friend or lover or ex for some of you here doesn't have to be though but there's something you know there's a huge transformational kind of change and awakening you go through but it does cause you to want to continue to work on it and build towards this or that or a person in a way where you are confident and you do you know plan and take action towards that and it looks like here someone or something makes you really happy and excited to chit chat with them message them you know maybe like look at them uh what's it called um through social media spy creep whatever it is lurk or just look at you know what's it called what's it called glancing at them or i don't know what is it called when people just don't really like hate spy creep on someone's page they just are like oh what are they up to i don't know check in like what is it anyway that's okay that anyway that's what you're doing libra is what i'm saying um and you're also just kind of building and hanging on to stuff <laughs> i know we're like not scrollers <laughs> we don't <sighs> anyway but it, yeah so we're working on nosy you're funny i was waiting i'm like he's gonna say some smart ass for my <laughs> you know just like i guess i'm bored let me see what my ex-girlfriend's grandma's cousin's you know doing i don't know just weird stuff like that because <laughs> people do that so you know just glancing around but whatever, you know, that not all of you are doing that. Just, just saying, whatever it is that you are researching, studying, or looking at, you do feel like it's ready. You're like ready to hang on to some things and really put in the effort to work hard towards something here, towards a person from your past, something that makes you happy, someone, either or here, and basically just kind of do whatever it is. Hold on, a card just flipped over, so I'll grab it. Okay, whoa, moly, what am I looking at here, Libra? What in the hell is this? Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm looking at a lot of interesting things here. What the hell's going on? Okay, so a few things here, Libra. So that moment of nostalgia and happiness and all that and innocence and, and, you know, maybe an ex, you're the ex, they're the ex, old friend, this, that, I don't know, whatever it is, no judgment here. It is a moment of truth. So it makes you want to say the truth, speak the truth, know the truth, learn the truth, or the truth just get like comes out. Right after the truth, you decide and to hell with it all. I'm going to continue doing the most toxic things I've been doing or being or trying or whatever it is. Addictions, obsessiveness, toxicity, you know, whatever your taboo is, I don't know, is you're going to keep doing it. Now, for some of you, it's towards a married man or woman 
or something dealing this is so weird there's too many weird things with this the, because the thing is it's like that's why i said it's your version you know because is being in a cult or and or being in like a weird secret society sorry they're not all weird but you know and, and doing all that kind of stuff is it really taboo i don't freaking know i really don't and so you're gonna just because i'm looking at a very interesting group of libras here some of you are going to continue being of your very elite status and do your whatever the hell toxicities you're doing i don't know and i don't care because <laughs> you get a lot of success and recognition for it so whatever Others of you, it's towards, you know, doing what, you know, doing something that's not ideal in the marriage or relationship you are in. Others of you have a very unique contract where you signed one for you to be popular and famous, or you're the one who signs them with people, okay? It's like a whole list here. That's, I'm like, wow. And I usually, I don't see this spread the way that it is. So I'm like, huh. So either or, a lot of you are important people, or a lot of you are dealing with important people and, you know, to each their own of what it is. Like I said, I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. Um, a lot of you, it's about spiritual and or religious and or paranormal and or like political type stuff. But so it's all of it combined. So either or those, all those things I've listed. The truth is there about something toxic being revealed, you know, or coming out here. And that's what causes you to still be here. The thing is, is whatever it is, marriage, contract, your own marriage, someone else's marriage, information, guidance, Spiritual, religious, paranormal, uh, paranormal, paranormal, interesting, paranormal, paranormal, you know, political stuff. The thing is, you still get your success and recognition at, at the end of the day. And you get to be free and take leaps of faith and do whatever the hell you're doing here and feel very content and very fulfilled and happy here. And you end up making your money is what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but you still get what you want. And you're free and independent. <laughs> That's all I'm saying here. So whether it's you being in the center, all those energies, or you're pursuing someone like that, whatever it is, your own path in life, okay? I do see here from like really building and creating and trying to figure out more with yourself and something about business, career, past success, or independence for a lot of you here, being single and independent, either or, like I said, a lot of you end up, you know, either having fun and feeling happy about whatever's going on and or have a crush and want to continue pursuing someone you are dating or you want, you have romantic, whatever with, either or. But that fast you're burdened and you have to drop it and something's going on and then you get uncomfortable and you get upset and you're not having it and so there's a lot of conflict and drama and fighting you start which makes you feel emotionally successful for like a day and then you're back to stressing out and feeling like crap and going through it because you one you are in love with someone you want this new love or you need to be single or you are single or you know it's a new chapter it's a new beginning there's something here that clearly is causing a law for you or someone so either or okay you could be dealing with a gemini or no well actually yes gemini libra aquarius gemini wants to pop out first okay uh gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius virgo taurus capricorn or pisces cancer scorpio thank you bye